Hi, I'm Helen Vandenberg, and today I'm going to take you through a dynamic stretch series that you can use anytime um, in a group class for one of your clients in personal training or at the end of a Pilates class. So this is my gravity pick today. So enjoy this. So we're going to start at as if you just finished doing a series of exercises. So coming just seated at the end of the glide board with your feet just to the side. Taking the hands gently, and this could be on the squat stand or with the toe bar. And we're just going to gently push away lifting the sit bones and then coming in and just following that range of motion that's comfortable for your client. They may be able to straighten their legs, they may not be able to. And then from there, just going at a pace that's comfortable for them, we're going to add that forward flexion. So not just hip hinging, but now coming into more of a forward bend. So adding that forward fold along with the hip flexion motion and then bringing it in and releasing. But from there, we're going to walk our feet in and place the feet up either on the struts, can be shoulder width apart or a little higher. If you're comfortable, bring the heels higher. Sitting with the feet apart, hands behind your thighs, tuck the tailbone and just get the pelvis moving. The beauty above the, of the GTS and the glide board is that we can actually move the pelvis. Trying to do this on the floor doesn't work very well. All right, so now we're getting some mobility through the spine, flexion and extension, anterior, posterior, Let's move that more in through the entire spine, add the upper body. And as we do that, of course, we're going to add a little bit more strength involved into the dynamic stretch. So as we're contracting the abdominal wall, we are now opening through the back body and then vice versa. Let's open it up even more, take the hands back and now lift the chest into that dynamic stretch and then release. So going into flexion, pelvic rotation, extension, opening and lifting. One more time, flexion, extension, lift and opening. Now let's bring it into a dynamic hamstring stretch. So folding the body forward and then extending just to where they can, their point of flexibility, and then coming back. Folding forward into it to their point of flexibility and then coming back. For your more flexible clients, taking the hands to the squat stand or the toe bar and lengthening out and bringing it back in and releasing. Taking, um, now that you can take it across in a diagonal direction. So now we're getting more lateral. So again, just the hip hinge action or hip hinge with flexion. Of course, we could reach behind, add some variations to that back arm. But again, keeping it moving in a diagonal pattern with dynamic movement through the stretch and bringing it up. Bring your feet to the floor, close the glide board down, and then just step to one side into a lunge with the foot either on the floor or um, up onto the strut, depending on their flexibility, we're just gonna lunge back. Now again, taking it into that dynamic hip flexor. So the whole series that we're gonna go through here is focusing in on the areas that are really tight in our bodies. Tighten our clients' bodies, hamstrings, hip flexors, chest, spine, so really focusing in on those areas. So starting with a dynamic range of motion and then holding and static. So once we're coming to here, we can add some lateral, different planes of motion as they're working through that hip flexor rotation, increasing the mobility of that hip and then coming in and closing it in. From there, let's come back to a seated position. Right? And I love this exercise because I know for myself, I can't do it without, without the assistance of the GTS. So the GTS is gonna assist us here to be able to bring our foot in behind. Many of you may have done this before in a yoga class, right? And it's almost impossible for most, many of us to get here because we're tight through the ankle, through the shin, and then we get into this quad. And as we come back into a supported position on the glide board, just opening up through that quad. All right now we can make it a little bit more dynamic by contracting the gluteal. So to getting a glute contraction, opening up that hip flexor, and then releasing and relaxing. And if you go through a series of doing that, contraction and releasing, you're going to find that eventually they're able to go back even further. And before you know it, they might be even able to go back onto the glide board for support as they go through that stretch and then bringing themselves up. So bring that leg in, close the glide board down, and let's come into a side lateral stretch. So just taking the legs into more of a Pilates position that we call a mermaid, but for your athletes and their jocks, you might not want to do this one and call it a mermaid. Just call it a fan. Call it, bring your legs out to the side and then bring yourself out and then laterally flexing. 
So begin with just a lateral flexion series, which many of us have done in the Pilates series as a strength exercise, but think of it as a dynamic stretch. But now let's add rotation. So when we come back, let's rotate, and then rotate to the tower, laterally flex, laterally flex in the opposing direction, come up, rotate towards the toe bar, rotate towards the tower. So we're getting this dynamic motion happening through the spine in multiple planes of motion as we go through the series, rotating and releasing and coming out. And from here, take your top foot just to the front of the squat stand or the toe bar, the bottom foot behind, right? Come down low so you can lie down onto the glide board. Support the head as you extend out. All right, one of my favorite stretches is now to come into a chest opener. Rotating and opening, you're going to feel it through the hip, right through the spine, through the shoulder, the chest as you come across. All right, close it down, reach out. All right, you could do different planes of motion. You create a circular pattern. You can come straight over the top in this plane. All right, or go through more of what a Feldenkrais exercise would be all the way around, opening that full circle and in. My favorite, breathing through it and coming in and releasing. From there, turn into prone. So coming to your knees, right, and then pre coming to the chest, to the top of the glide board, extending the legs. Feet on the side, stretch to the side of the um, board. Roll the shoulder blades back. Lift the chest, right? So now we've got lengthening through the chest, through the, the, the core body, engagement through the back of the body. Take the hands back, interlace, open. Exhale, release. Soften the knees. Push up and press back in the opposite direction. And then repeating that again, coming forward. Open up, extend, come back, close, push back. Bring yourself up to one side. All right, coming around to the front, hands onto the glide or onto the toe bar or the squat stand. And starting where we began is push it out, soft knees, let the chest come through opening up through the chest, the shoulders, breathing, exhaling, letting it go. Bring yourself up, open it up, interlace the fingers and lift. Of course, we repeat the whole series on the opposite side. So we go back into the quad stretch, the side lateral with a rotational stretch, into our um, series of rotation, into the Feldenkrais circling and finishing with prone. Hope you can use this, have fun with it, and enjoy the stretch.